Hi guys, um, something maybe of an unfamiliar face here. I'm Charlotte's brother Miles. You may have seen me in some of the videos we did together. And I just wanted to take this time to give you an idea of what my mum and I want to do with Charlotte's channel and the ideas we've got at the moment and just to see if you guys approve of them. First of all, I'm going to give you some information about Charlotte's funeral, which was yesterday. I have with me the copy of the order of service from the funeral. Um, I thought you might, guys might like to see that. Um, beautiful picture of Charlotte on the front. Um, we had two songs played, which were our choices, and we hope they're appropriate for Charlotte and the kind of person she was. We had Nick Drake from The Morning, which is a beautiful song. I highly recommend listening to it, and you can see maybe how the lyrics are quite applicable to Charlotte. And the second song we had was Hall of Fame by The Script. Again, very apt um, about Charlotte's journey and the changes she made and how she blossomed, really, in those two and a half years and had a life which most people probably couldn't fit into 50 years. It was an absolutely beautiful service. About 400 people turned up, so it was quite overwhelming in that sense. And the support we got was fantastic. Um, everyone who came was absolutely lovely and really did help us get through that very difficult day. So thank you to all you people. My mum and I have two goals for this channel, as it stands. Um, we really want to carry on Charlotte's legacy, so that means we'll be talking a lot about Charlotte, a lot about her early life. As you may know, she was a very, very anxious young girl before she blossomed into the amazing, courageous woman we all know. So we'd really like to take the chance to talk about Charlotte and life, her life before cancer. Um, and our perspectives as the brother of a cancer sufferer and my mum's perspective as a mother. So I think it's quite important because it's difficult to imagine what that's like if you haven't been in the situation. It can be incredibly stressful at times, obviously, and we experienced a real roller coaster of emotions over the two and a half years after Charlotte was diagnosed. Secondly, and hopefully by talking about Charlotte and her own journey, we can raise awareness about the type of cancer that Charlotte was affected by and in addition, brain tumours in general. Charlotte had a glioblastoma, which is an incredibly aggressive form of brain cancer, and we'd really like to raise awareness about its particular form of cancer, and brain cancers generally, as I say. It's a grossly underfunded area of cancer research, due to the brain's complexity and its delicacy. So we'd really like to get the message out there for that. We'll be talking about Charlotte's childhood, as I said, her time at school, and just what she was like before cancer and with cancer. Um, because she changed a lot, it really did change the way I think she thought about things. She went from being a very shy, nervous and anxious young girl, and in those two and a half years she just was the most confident, courageous person. She could stand up in front of anyone and talk about cancer, talk about fashion, talk about anything. Um, so we'll definitely get around to doing that. My mum and I are kind of planning some ideas, um, and we hope to release a video every Sunday. We'll try and keep that regular schedule going. We'd really like to know what you guys think, first and foremost, so if you have any suggestions, or even if you think this is a good idea, which I hope you do, um, please leave something in the comments section, and we can go through that. We do also hope to be using Charlotte's main camera for this. Um, I'm not particularly au fait with it yet, so I'm trying to get round to the technicalities of that. Um, this is just a laptop I would upload. Um, due to it being a bit more convenient for us at the moment. So we hope to get that going as well. Well, I hope you have a great day and hopefully you can come back with some feedback, be it positive or negative, about the ideas we're going through. And as I say, if you have any suggestions, just put them down in the comment section um, and we'll have a look through them. So thanks very much for listening and hopefully see you guys again soon. Bye guys.